Kenneth Starr, the man whose investigation led to the impeachment of Bill Clinton, has died at the age of 76. Tonight, a local attorney who knew Starr and worked on the Clinton case remembers the Duke Law graduate. He was long used to uh, moments of great gravity like the impeachment proceedings. He was at the center of a five-year investigation that nearly brought down a president. It began with fraudulent real estate deals involving a longtime Bill and Hillary Clinton associate and led to the then-president's sexual encounters with intern Monica Lewinsky. The White House painted Ken Starr, the special counsel appointed to the case, as a right-wing fanatic. Raleigh attorney Joshua Howard completely disagrees with that assessment. Uh, I don't know that anyone could have navigated it any better under those circumstances. Howard came to work in the special counsel's office just as Starr was leaving, but Starr made frequent appearances and loved to talk about his alma mater. He would still pull me aside because he's, he's a big Duke guy. He graduated from Duke Law School, and, and I um, am a devout Blue Devil fan. And, you know, he would still pull me aside despite the gravity of everything else going on. His favorite anecdote involves a fellow junior staffer. And he would pull that guy in and talk to him about his first year law student classes for an hour at a time as if nothing else was going on in the world and he was the most important person in the room. Howard still has his own copies of the final Star Report. It concluded that Clinton lied under oath and obstructed justice. Clinton was impeached by the House and acquitted in the Senate. Years later, the same happened to Donald Trump twice. In one of those cases, Ken Starr was on the opposite side of the room as an attorney for the defense. President Clinton's behavior was so shocking at the time uh, that it, it, it deserved the attention that Judge Starr gave it. None of that compares to the horror of watching people um, storm the Capitol uh, on the day Congress would decide to certify the election. But it's the early impression that Starr gave nearly 30 years ago that has stuck with Howard. He knew the names of everyone and left the impression that he is always a gentleman and a scholar, even if uh, the direction he's headed might be controversial. And, you know, you really can't talk about this without going all the way back to Nixon, right? It wasn't right. necessarily the crime at that point. It was the cover-up. In mm -hmm. Clinton's case, it wasn't necessarily a crime, but it was the cover-up when it came to Monica Lewinsky and lying in front of the mm -hmm. grand jury. Uh, a real opportunity, no matter how you think of Ken Starr yeah. today or did then, mm -hmm. that Joshua Howard was... You know, one of those people who knew him and, and shaped part of his career around that experience. Very interesting. Yeah. All right, Russ, thanks.